Well, it looks like the metal's held up real good, Dave, even though the dollar strengthened, <coughs> which tells you something right there. I hear a lot of funds are buying the metals now. Uh, they're, they know that this uh, finance, uh, the finance game is, is just a rigged joke with these banks showing profits after they were, they should have gone bankrupt and now they're showing profits after bailout. It's a joke. It's just a big joke. I actually bought up a couple of puts on the RTH, the retail holders. Uh, looks like it's going to turn over. Retail has to turn over. Um, so I bought a couple of puts on that. Um, also, I wanted to mention oh, a couple of Google videos I want you to look up, and I want you to watch the whole thing. It's real interesting. First of all, I got the information from a, a YouTuber called uh, The Anti-Terrorist. You should check him out. Real interesting stuff. Uh, he wears a black a black mask with sunglasses. All you can see are his lips. and uh, But it's very interesting information. And he gave out a couple of uh, Google videos. <clears throat> I write down these these titles: "Bursting Bubbles of Government Deception," "The Occult World of Commerce," and "The Magnificent Deception." <clears throat> um, the Magnificent Deception, the Occult World of Commerce. Real interesting stuff about how we are born into slavery and how registering with the government. It's real interesting how you interact with the police and, and government. Uh, like if you get pulled over by a cop um, and he gives you the ticket, um, you can request that he give you the original because it's a, a it's a, a bill, it's a, what is it called, a bill transfer? Uh, it's not a bill unless it's the original. And if he doesn't want to give you the original, which he probably won't, you can take the copy and have it notarized and send it in that way, saying that I never received a bill for this ticket. Uh, this I didn't get the original bill of uh, exchange. That's bill of exchange is what it's called. And since this is in the original bill of exchange, um, so far I don't owe any money. And he says that the police officer writing the ticket would be on the hook for the ticket because he didn't actually give you the bill for it, so it doesn't count. The original bill of exchange. Anyway. Um, it's pretty interesting stuff. At least arm yourself with some knowledge. Uh, what else do I want to talk about? Oh, Mary Croft has a book. You can download the PDF uh, file. It's called How I Clobbered. How I Clobbered. Let me bring it up here. I can't remember. It's a long name. Right. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? you got to be kidding me. Where to go? How I Clobbered. Come on, man. I can't find it now. Shit. Man, it was right there, too. How I clobbered. Where did all my... Anyway, uh, I just looked at it a minute ago, and now it's gone. So I cannot see it. Anyway, it's about how she, she dealt with authority and uh, in a lawful way. And it's really a cool book. Uh, her name is Mary Croft. Maybe you look that up in a Google video or something. It's How I Clobbered Something. And uh, it's a real long title, so check that out. Also, I want you to notice that um, there's so much physical metal being pulled off the market that uh, usually when people want to speculate about metals or anything else, oil, whatever, uh, the speculators come in and they use a lot of margin. So if they want to borrow 80% margin, uh, that pushes all their money up to the top 20%. So if, if what you buy goes down 20%, all your money's gone, and you still owe the 80% to, the, to whoever you borrowed the margin from. And that's how they've been manipulating people out of the metals markets because they know that, well, if we just drop it down 20%, 10%, then the people that they borrowed the margin from is gonna, are going to do margin calls, and that will force them to sell even more metal. They'll have to start selling more metal, and that will make the price come down lower, which will trigger more margin calls, which forces people to sell even more metal, and it brings down the price further. Well, now the metal is going into strong hands that are paying cash. They're not using margin. So these ups and downs, uh, they're losing, they're losing the manipulators are losing their power. Um, so we need to pull as much physical metal off the market as possible, and that's what people are doing. So it's inevitable that the uh, manipulation come to an end. So uh, they can try to run it down all they want to, but sooner or later they're doomed, especially J.P. Morgan. J.P. Morgan has three times as many as much risk as they have in deposits, so they're actually on margin by a factor of I think five, 500 percent? I can't remember. So if 
if the what they're invested in even comes down twenty percent they're wiped out so let's hope that happens because they're they have a criminal short on the on the silver market so i'm watching those banks looks like the banks are turning today and they don't deserve to be anywhere near where they are they all deserve to be at zero so uh deserves got nothing to do with it though i guess um, but i think people are they're not falling for this bs and all the sucker money is in and we're going to see the market turn back over. I knew 8,000 would be resistance. I said that before. It was support. It vis we visited it too often, so it had to fail. And now uh, we've come up to resistance, and it's going to fail again. We're going to have another downturn here. We're going to have a, another pullback because all the earnings are out, all that stuff is out, and people are taking to take profits and going to run it down. So um, that's how they manipulate the markets by leverage. They know the leverage, but now. Not a lot. There aren't a lot. Of, there's not a lot of leverage in the in the metals anymore. So I don't think they're going to be able to run it down much anymore. So it's just a matter of people waking up to the fact that uh, the dollar is going to zero, and uh, they're they're still propping it up. The dollar was up again today. It looks like it's still going to trend higher. So that's cool. Keep the price down lower for us. We can accumulate more. And when the whole uh, when the whole game comes to an end, it'll be our turn. So. Uh, I guess that's about all I want to say today. I shorted the RT. I bought puts on the RTH, which means I expect it to go down. So check out RTH. Looks like it's it's come up to resistance and it has to pull back now. So, and I'm watching to go long on SKF tomorrow, which is a uh, short the financials, double short the financials. Uh, SKF looks like it might have a uh, bullish turn. I'll let you know about that. All right. Uh, that's about it. Check out those titles and uh, watch those movies. It's real interesting. All right.